Hello everybody and welcome once again to another review and this one is going to be a very special review. Today we're going to be reviewing the Athern G04141, the presidential funeral locomotive for George H.W. Bush. And here it is. So this is an Athern Genesis model, of course, but I usually go for. You can see my trains already ready up there and i also have 8520 on the track over there the 90 mac dash h that i own because this train is that long now <laughs> so yeah we'll run it with that 8520 soon but before we get into this main review just a little bit of backstory on this whole locomotive so this locomotive was originally just a standard sd70 ace locomotive on the up line known as 8423 in 2012, this locomotive will be stored indefinitely until 2018 when this locomotive was unveiled. And on December 6th of 2018, this locomotive, as well as UP9096, would carry George H.W. Bush's casket in a funeral train from... Uh, wherever they started from, I actually don't know where they started from, but they would carry him into his final resting place where he would be buried next to his wife and daughter. And then after that happened, this locomotive would actually be seen in active service for a little bit longer. It would actually, it would actually be able to run with some of Union Pacific's other superstar, superstar locomotives, like their 1943, the Spirit of the Union Pacific, as well as even the Big Boy 4014. And then this locomotive would be donated to the um, George H.W. Bush Presidential Library and Museum, which is what it says on the side of this locomotive. And as for why it says George Bush 41, it's because George H.W. Bush was the 41st president of the United States of America. And he was, as far as I know, he was the only president to ever have a fascination with trains growing up. Hence why he was given the special treatment for his funeral that he was. So, this thing is awesome. This is easily their best, like, this is easily the best Union Pacific paint scheme that they've ever made. Even better than the Missouri Pacific, I'm sorry. As much as I love the Missouri Pacific, this is much better. <laughs> And, yeah, you can still find this, of course, at the um, library and museum. And as far as I know, whenever they were uh, loading this onto the track that they have there, there were actually two coins that were placed underneath the wheels of the locomotive. And that, I guess those coins were meant to honor, I believe, his wife and daughter as well. So... Really interesting stuff, but we have a K5 LLA horn on this, and this little back flap is actually kind of loose. I'm not going to give Athern a hard time about that, but that'll be something to keep in mind. Uh, high mounted headlight, grab irons, little um, little light bar underneath the red wire on the front for the ditch lights. Yeah, it, it's it's really solid with the detail. The only thing, I just wish they would make the rear fan see-through like it is on these MTH models over here. You can actually see through these fans, but you can't see through the ones on the Athern Genesis models. I don't know why that's the case, but I really, really wish Athern would just make them see-through like you can with the smokestack. Why can't I see through the damn fans? Doesn't make any sense. But, yeah. Little logo there. SD70 ACE. Um, under the cab, you guys can see that logo a little better now. And my cat's at the door trying to get in the room. <laughs> yeah, we take a look at the other side of the locomotive. That's how it looks on this side. Now the roof is removable. I'm not gonna remove it right now because last time I did the LEDs for the high headlight came out of place and I'm not gonna go through that again. So yeah, let's go and take this over here to the track and we'll put it on there with the 8520. So 
But yeah, let's hear this thing start up. And then we'll double to the AFF one. So I'm just quickly gonna set the consist for it. So we'll have 41, 41 leading, 85, 20 trailing. And the cons is set up here. So let's go ahead and put in the right number here so we can hear some sound effects and turn on some lights. So first let's start off with the bell and the horn. I believe this actually had a mechanical bell. And it did. So now for the horn, keep in mind that this thing was built back in 2005, which is probably why I had the mechanical bell, but the horn. So that's F2, F3 for short horn. Pretty good on response on this there. So now we can bring this thing um, back a minute, just so we can see. Now we can also see how it handles the speed step one with another local over the consist. That is insanely smooth. Come on, it is pushing this entire train with it too. And that is how smooth that is running. That is amazing. So we're going to push this back a little bit so we can see the lights on it. Oh. Mm. Yeah, so a zero for the light there. A five ditch lights. A six for lightning effect too. I don't know if this actually has that or not. I don't think it's doing anything, but maybe. I don't know, let me know in the comment section if you see anything. Let's go meet this thing. Yeah. We'll go for speed step 35, like I usually go for, and there we go. So, that is moving. I'm gonna shut off the bell like I usually do. And let's get our usual shot of this thing coming down here and see how it looks. All right, so final thoughts, I love this thing. I have for as long as I've owned it. I don't actually remember how much I paid for it, but if you can get one of these, I would just say go for it. You know, of course, I wish you could see through the fans and everything, but it's honestly great. Just like most Athern Genesis locomotives, this one's really good for detail. And on top of that, it's a really, really solid piece. Yeah. See you guys next time. Have a great day, guys.